Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to uh, take a look at the tangle. And, and I'm, I'm deciding which way which way should we pronounce it. Uh, it's either try X, Y, Z or try, try Z. Because the X and the Y makes like a Z sound, at least here. Um, and then the Z is a Z sound. Um, we'll go with try X, Y, Z. It's actually easier to say. And this is by CZT Tina Chen. Ugh. All right. So <laughs> you might be thinking this looks like a tricky one. And it is a little bit. But I I think I think I've got it. All right. So we're just gonna start with it's a, just a triangle. I'm trying to make it nice and big. And if you have challenges making shapes like I do a lot of times, don't worry about it. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> then, and I think this, this step is deceiving. Deceivingly difficult? Yeah. All right. So, pick a place to start. You don't need to put a dot, but I'm just going to do it for example. So, in the center... Okay, now here's what I found. So in looking at hers, from, oh, that's not quite center, is it? Oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, so from here, we're going to make a straight line coming from, oh, can I make it? Oh, I'm going to go up a little bit. And so here's, here's where I was thinking. About two-thirds of the way down, from you know one end so from here so I'm, I'm gonna point it straight line to the right side of the triangle two-thirds of the way from the top here's the trick don't just put a Y in the center because it's not it won't necessarily end up um, the way you'd want it to well okay now I'm gonna make that a little bit longer we're gonna go back to where I had it it just depends on which direction I'm looking at this here okay and then again, same thing, straight line, aiming close to, you know, a little ways down from the top. Turn your tile again. Ugh. Same thing, aim for two thirds ish of the way down from the top. So there we have a Y. I kept getting tripped up on this step. Maybe it's just, it's, you know what? I, it's probably just me. <laughs> I'm like, wait. How, how come, huh? All right. Now, second trick that I found to this one. Um, Tina has us doing, a, so leaving it where it is, a straight line from this, this end to the opposite or the further away um, line or, you know, edge of the triangle. Now, I did it. I just, I just made lines and it was okay. Here's, here's the trick that I found. And I'm trying to do this so I can see it. Here's your triangle. If you make this line coming out here, make a new triangle like that. I don't know if that makes any sense. I have two more tries. Okay, so how, wherever it lands, just kind of, and just eyeballing it's fine. But just, just looking at it and just saying, okay, we're going to make this line here and it will make like a triangle here. That one was a little bit more clear. And here, last last try. Okay. Then, from, and actually I, I was, uh, from this point is where I started, I, I had tried doing this from this point because we're making a little triangle on this line right towards this end, leaving a little space here. So, but here's what I found. If I just did that, meh, it turned out okay. Start from this side and, you know, whatever your space is, aura it up, leaving a gap, right? And then come down the other side so you make a nice little triangle. So we'll try that again. And I think this too is what helps make it forgiving. So if your triangles are odd, like mine usually are, same thing again. 
And I said deceivingly because it, you know, say it looks easy on the surface. But then when you try it, it's like, well, now, wait a minute. There's just a little something else to this. And this seems, this seems to have worked for me. If you find something else, then great. And then you can decorate it however you wish. Let's see. I'm, ooh. Oh, and I do like this. I, you know, I think the first thing, first time I had seen this, and I'm going to fill in those, I'm going to fill these in. Do take a look at the For More Inspiration link because Tina's samples are just amazing. Now, it does take you to a Facebook link. Um, I did, I, well, you know what, I'm going to look at, um, I didn't look at the, at a different source uh, to see if it was posted there. It is not on Tangle Patterns because um, I don't know if you're able to see it without being, um, oh, you know what I could do? Ooh, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna take a screenshot of it and I'll post it. So that way, in case you can't access it, um, I will do that. And, um, and you know, <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, I didn't mention, this is part of the Inktober Tangles uh, 2023 um, list. And, you know, and I'm glad, I'm glad for other lists like this, um, you know, the, because there are th uh, tangles like this that, unless it's on the, uh, is it Mustrakella? And why am I going to look right now while I have you here? I don't know, but... Um, Unless it's there or on like tangle patterns where you, you normally you see the collective of them, the repository. Um, I always get sad because like, oh, I've missed this. this Because it is a neat one. It is worth taking a look at. Okay. And figuring out. If nothing else but to say, oh, I figured it out. All right. I will look at that later. But one of the things, one of the deck. Oh, but wait. Okay, one of the decorating points that I like is this, where you could, and let's see, how did she, oh, just, oh, just doing a, a, an extra line here, I think, yeah, so coming from here, and just auraing that, you know, the, say the outside line, actually, you could probably do both. And she does the thing where, you know, leaving some gaps and all of that, and it's clever. Oh, and actually, then I think it looks like, um, yes, indeed. I think, oh, no, no, no. It does take a turn here. I think it ends here. Yeah. Because then it, it kind of emphasizes that over and under type of thing. So we'll do this again here. So it's kind of like we're following it around because if I put it there, oh, then that's not going to make any difference because it's going to go right into the other one. And then this just right in there. Boy, does that just make a difference oh, in my, in my, <laughs> in my mind anyway, in my eyeballs, just that has made a difference because it's, um, whoo, that 3D part is just popping out. <laughs> that is neat and yeah you could do the inside as well same idea just following it but ending it right there And that is kind of the, the trick is figuring out, okay, well, I'm auraing it, but where, you know, where am I starting? Where am I ending? And, you know, and really it is, it's the tuck, tuck points. That's going to be my technical term for that. Like that. Neat. And then you could always add some shading to that and we shall and let's well let's do oh she has some interesting ones but let's do where it's tucked I always say that so let's do
Mm-hmm. And then, of course, it's tucked here, here, and here. And of course, there is, you know, probably, a, you know, a bunch of other ways for sure that this could be, well, let's do it this way so it's up, <laughs> uh, that it could be shaded, but it's still, it makes it look like it's, you know, like it's in a knot. Now, I, I was going to do this and have it done before this, but I thought, you know what? Because some have mentioned when I've uh, done this as a demonstration, then um, you like it. So hopefully you do. If not, uh, please click like if, you, if you've if you liked the video so far. Please click the like. Subscribe if you've not subscribed yet. I would love that. Look at the description section for all the information. Um, and that way, if you're like, okay, got it, done. Then I at least have given that, that part of the information that I like to do. All right, so moving forward all right so here so i and, and just a little tap i've i've found that to be i don't know just gets me started on on where so then and i don't know that you have to go to you know to one side or the other just make it consistent that i think is the biggest thing so from here again and i said two-thirds ish that was not quite two-thirds ish but it's all right and I, I, I tried to do this in a hexagon. Uh, it, it really helps if you're like actually able to draw a hexagon uh, to begin with. So I thought, oh, well, let's do it easy. Oh, and I had pre-done, like I said, I, I had pre-done this because I'm like, I'll just do this. And then I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, well, I could just start from right there. And then let's make this big triangle. That's right. This one goes all the way to the edge. Yeah, see, and if you can just eyeball that triangle, it just helps. And then we will aura this. And if uh, if you're auraing from that, from this point, because there's a lot of, uh, you know, of weaving components here, having this and then go straight up aura in you know whatever the space is don't worry about it just come up as far as you can and then come back down to make your triangle um say so it also makes it forgiving because just like you know say oh, i have different i have different sizes i have different shapes all right so let's go uh here and so for this, I, you know what, I, I, my brain can just do this part. Um, you could alternate it and do it the, you know, so like the, we're going this direction, right? Could do it the other direction, but I'm just going to keep it the same because that's about it. All right. And I keep going a little bit more like a quarter of a way. It's another, you know, don't worry about it. Just make it consistent. And I, Turning the tile for me helped because I kept putting them, uh, I kept wanting to go the wrong direction. And yeah, I was like, oh, I know there's no wrong, in and there is no wrong in Zentangle. But if you want it, if you do want it to look like, you know, what it is, then it's helpful. <laughs> and if not, it's okay. But these ones that are like this, it's, uh, while it's neat to have the steps, some of me, well, uh, 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 I will wax philosophical later. But so far, so good. And then, you know, just continuing on. And like I said, I would, this is one, you, you normally when I do tangles, I would do the same step in each box or each section and then continue on. This one is with ones that have that are either just more complicated or whatever. I have found nope, I'm just going to do all of the steps in one and then I'll move on because other cuz I I I like I tried it and I'm like, "Oh no, 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 no." And then this the, just the matter of, okay, let's get this to look like a nice triangle. There we go. So, and I was trying to figure out from 
what Tina had list, you know, had posted. Um, and you know what? And I like it when there's notes, but it, they don't need to have notes because my brain, I'll, I'm still going to work to figure it out anyway. But I was just trying to figure out, okay, what's the rhyme and reason behind the angles? Is there, is there any? That's where my head goes. And I think, I by George, I think we've got it. Okay, last one. <laughs> and, you know, and you don't need to start at a certain place. Apparently I do. Let's see if we can. No, apparently that's just where the pen wants to go. Oh, okay, let's say this. Between two thirds and a quarter of the way. <laughs> All right. And I keep having to, to move this so that way I can have this like at the top and then, all right, then let's see. Okay. I put my pen. Oh, I can see the straight line there. And then you can just kind of finish off the triangle with, you know, eyeballing it and it works pretty well. It, my pen is not being held at a comfortable position. So my brain is going, no, but it's what has to happen. So that way we can say, hey, conquered this one. Yay. And once you've kind of, once you've gotten it, it's not so bad, right? It is not so bad. Huh. I'm just debating. Oh, no, I do like having those filled in. So I think I shall. All right. So while I fill these on, and then I'm going to, I think I might shade it similarly because... I think we'll see. I'm, I'm not going to worry about putting the little lines that, you know, that is just a neat extra um, bit. And it, it, it that helps with, you know, seeing those, um, you know, the over and unders. It's just, I don't know. I think I think it's a neat decoration, uh, especially for stuff like this. All right. So as I'm filling this in now, I will uh, again ask if you're enjoying this please click the like button feel free to share it leave comments and all of that um and if you liked enough to see more like i said uh, please subscribe to the channel i appreciate any and all of those activities as those at least as far as i know seem to help the algorithms i'm thinking about shading this differently as i'm interrupting myself because when i'm filling in these bits my eyeballs um, have it turning different. I don't know. I, I might just to accentuate something else. I might try to do a little bit different shading. I'm not sure yet. I have a lot of filling in here to do. Um, but anyway, I appreciate all of those, act, any of all of those activities because it helps the algorithms. That's the way I understand it anyway. And that is what, you know, spreads the word outside of you're just sharing it. Um, in that description section, I had mentioned uh, there's links to step outs, um, I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. And like I said, I will at least, uh, I will take a screenshot and put a link there. So if you cannot, if you're not on Facebook, um, and cannot access that, that way you can at least see it. Um, also have linked to my website and to our amazing Tangle Addicts community Facebook page. So if you are on Facebook, we'd love to have you join us over there. Uh, if you, you know, if you want to be part of kind of the the ongoing fun and conversation. It's a just a, a fantastic group of people for real. Very active, very supportive, and um, enough understand, you know, really get the, the philosophical side of Zentangle where we don't worry about so much what, you know, what it what it looks like because it's not about that as much as it is about just doing and participating. So, you know, it's just a lot of fun. It really, really is. I want, here's what I'm, here's what I'm thinking. If I were to, instead of looking at the over under, but thinking about it as folds. Huh? I should try it on something else first. <laughs> That's what I think. 
Let me. I. I you know what? I. You, after a while, if you're if you're new to Zentangle, do know that you'll get used to you, you or. You might develop, because I, I don't know. This could just be me being weird, um, which is not, which is normal. Oh, you know what? I kind of did it here. But you, you can kind of guess what something might look like. Because see here, but I put it on the one side, so that way it does look like it's tucked underneath. But I almost see it as a fold as well. Maybe not. If I do it to both sides, that just might look weird. So uh, we'll just continue it this way. All right. I can always play with it afterwards, but at least if you get it on one side, you can spread it to the other without any problem. But because I don't use erasers, then it doesn't work the other way. But I'm seeing this like as if you could just fold it in and then, you know, it just, it all kind of comes together right there in that center. Mm. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So as I'm finishing shading this, um, cause you already seen, you already, you already saw you, and you've really already seen what I, what I ended up doing because we did put this on, you know, this is on that beginning graphic. So I'm going to continue to play. I think I have mentioned everything that I like to mention. Well, we'll see what it looks like when all of them are done. <laughs> Somebody, oh, could do something down the sides. I just don't know. Lots of fun. All right. So um, with that, I think I've hit everything. Oh, no, I didn't hit everything. I did want to mention, because I usually, I, I'm not the... I'm not the greatest promoter, but I've gotten into a good habit here of mentioning that I do classes twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and actually, I do them two sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's really more like um, uh, four classes a week. <laughs> um, so if you'd like to join us, we would love to have you. Uh, that information is on my website. Um a lot, I think that because because I'm doing two things at once. Did I say a lot of them are free? Some of them are paid. Thursdays always free. It's called Tangle Time. Is it where? Well, this one actually would be Tough Tangle Tuesday. Tough Tangle Tuesday happens on the uh, third Tuesday of the month, and it's where we would take something like this and work through it. And for most, as they say afterwards, they will figure out whether they will ever want to do this one again. <laughs> But, you know, it's it's still, everybody is open to the challenge of, well, let's, okay, let's at least give it a shot and see, you know, can we figure it out? And then, you know, we see how bad we hurt everybody's brains. <laughs> we have a lot of, a lot of internal jokes like that. All right. But, uh, but that's what we would do. We would do. We would do something like this on Tough Tangle Tuesday. And that is also, that's a free, uh, free session. So. Like I said, we like we do like to have fun, and my whole objective with a lot of these is was just, hey, oh, see, look at how neat that looks. Oh, but wait, yeah, um, it needs something on the outside, um, you know, to help. And it actually, uh, uh, these quickies started with um, somebody asking, uh, asked asked a question on the Facebook group, and I thought, well, you know, and I had done a couple of videos before. And I thought, oh, well, here, let me do a quickie video. And, um, you know, put it up and that would help versus, you know, trying to type out how I could help, uh, you know, explaining uh, a tangle. And so that really, um, that started the thought process of doing these and um, just lots of fun, lots of fun. And the... <laughs> And the quickie is a, uh, it'll completely, well, not completely date me because they were really reruns when I was watching them, but it's just a, it's a, it's a hat tip throwback to, to the old laugh in show. And, um, which I just thought that was just funny. And it is, I, they're intended to be quick. This one is a longie because it's just a little bit more challenging. Oh, that just finished it off. Nice. All right. So with that. 
Thanks so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.